Good morning, guys. I don't think I have ever worn my glasses for a vlog before, but I just got brand new blue light glasses and they have my prescription in them, so they're huge and they make my eyes look super big. Like seriously, look at this. They're so thick, like, <laughs> today is kind of not a lazy day because this is all of like the homework that I have to do which actually isn't as bad as I thought it was but then this is my checklist of things that I need to do and then I also have this whiteboard of things to do so I have a lot going on and originally the plan was I was actually gonna get dressed today and I was gonna go outside and do a ton of stuff but as you can see it's gloomy and rainy outside so I am no longer doing that and I'm literally dressed so lazy like sweatpants, sweatshirt, and slippers because your girl does not want to actually get dressed to do all that stuff. So first things first, I have to make breakfast and get coffee and then second, I have to do laundry today and I'll show you guys what the laundry room looks like because I'm bored and I want to do something fun. So this might be a kind of boring video but stick with me. <laughs> Last Monday I did laundry too and literally there was nobody out like I didn't see anybody and I did it like around this time It's only like 11 o'clock and I didn't see anyone and so today I was like I'm gonna do laundry and I'm gonna vlog it because there's literally not gonna be anyone there I get out into the hallway first of all I'm dressed like this second of all I have my glasses on third of all I have a vlog camera that's embarrassing and then I get in the hallway and there's someone walking in the hallway that walked past me I was like cool and then I get into the laundry room and there's a cleaning person there love that and I just walked in and I was like good morning and she was like oh hi I'll get out of your way because there's only supposed to be one person in the laundry room because it's super teeny and so then I just had to be fast and efficient and then leave super fast and I'm very embarrassed right now but it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Let's make breakfast now. I have the camera balancing on the toilet, or <laughs> the paper towel roll, but it works, it works. So the last time that we went grocery shopping, I decided to buy a big thing of this instead of eating Starbucks every day. So I'll just drink this every day instead. I haven't tried it yet though, so let's see if it's good. Oh, I have to open it, darn it. <laughs> I feel so weird. <laughs> it's very good. It tastes the exact same as if you like went out and bought it and it's just in my fridge, so that's cool. I also bought a bunch of these just crack an egg thing. Jenna, one of my roommates last year, would always get them. And they're super easy. You literally just crack an egg in this thing and then you combine all the ingredients together and you microwave it. And then it just makes like a scrambled egg thing. And so this one has sausage, cheese, peppers, onions, and potatoes in it. And it's like an ultimate egg scramble is what they call it. So I think I'm gonna make one of these. And then I'm also gonna eat some watermelon, raspberries, and grapes with it possibly a muffin i bought these like pumpkin cinnamon muffins but this might be enough food so i don't know yet wow we love raw egg in a cup now i gotta put it in the microwave the first time that i made these i was really nervous because microwaving eggs seem sketchy to me but i've eaten them twice now and i'm still alive so <laughs> no one is in the laundry room this time and i didn't see anyone breakfast watched a youtube video and put my laundry in the dryer so now it's officially time to do homework but i do not want to <laughs> oh i took a quick break from homework to clean and i want to vacuum but look at how old this vacuum is none of us have one so we have to use the ones that are provided in their old and gross <laughs> 
Guys, look, it's Lily. We just got done talking about our projects. And how we're gonna fail our classes. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. It will be fun. I have a class on Zoom in two minutes, and then I have a delight meeting like half an hour after that. And then I still have a ton of homework and stuff to do because I didn't really get a lot done. I ended up FaceTiming Lily, as you guys saw, and I was going to do more homework during that time, but it's fine. It's fine. I have a couple days, but Lily told me that I have to read this. Lily and I have a class together right now, and we have to read this book by next Tuesday. So I went through and calculated how many pages I need to read until next Tuesday, and it's 56 pages a day. R.I.P. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's a new day. It's actually Tuesday, the 29th of September. And today I'm a little nervous because I'm taking over Delight's Instagram. And Delight is um, an all women's ministry on my college campus and I'm part of the leadership team this year. I'm the blog post writer. And today I'm taking over the Instagram and I'm a little nervous, like I'm excited to share my Bible studies and everything, but I'm also just like, ah, that's crazy because so many girls watch that. So I have to do that this morning and then I actually have to do my Bible study because usually I just do it when I get out of bed. And I didn't this morning because I wanted to get ready so I looked cute for the Delight Instagram story because I didn't want to get up with like my glasses and my pajamas and everything. But like mapped out a little list of what I want to put on there because I'm not really sure if I should make it like a day in my life thing. I think most of the girls are just doing like their Bible studies and stuff. And so that's what I'm gonna do with mine. And then I have some homework, but it's a nice day. So I think after my class, I'm gonna go outside and actually do my homework. Ah, I'm recording the delight video for the Instagram story. I did not realize my room had really good lighting right here, but quick little update. I am reading this book by Bob Goff. I don't think I've talked about it yet in this video, but I'm literally obsessed with it. My friend Emily and I got coffee and she was reading it and she told me about it. And basically it's all about loving everybody, everybody always. And I just love it a lot because I've really been working on that. Like I feel like I'm pretty good at loving people. I genuinely love people. But sometimes it's just hard and this book is just such a good reminder and it literally fills my heart with joy. So if you're looking for something to read, I would 100% recommend Everybody Always by Bob Goff because it's amazing. Seriously though, why is the lighting so good right here? I could literally take a picture of my whole room. <laughs> Don't you love this sweater? <laughs> okay. I put on these little coffee sacks because it is International Coffee Day. I just learned that. I just went on Instagram. But I think I'm going to go and like sit outside and study and like do some stuff outside. Hopefully no one is out there. There's a couple tables. So I'm hoping I can just sit out there and do some work. So that's what I'm going to go do right now. Okay, I decided to come out here at these little tables and there's no one here. So I got lucky. But I'm going to text my roommates and invite them to come out if they're around. Okay, this guy was just walking by, but I don't think he was paying attention to me. But I'm gonna do homework out here. It's actually such a beautiful fall day, so I'll probably be out here for a little while, until five at least, because we're going to Mandy's to make dinner for our little Taco Tuesdays. So that is the plan for right now. My friends came to join me. <laughs> <laughs> Dare left a little while well actually a while ago we've been out here for a long time but now it's just me and Haley we're going up to our room and I gotta pack food for Mandy's and then I'm gonna go make quesadillas at Mandy's for dinner for our little taco Tuesday thing but it's not really tacos anymore but that's still <laughs> what I'm gonna call it <laughs> 
I'm at Mandy's building. Hopefully no one comes out because I am vlogging out here. But I have to park in the guest parking lot so I'm walking up to her door right now all by myself and it's kind of cloudy. Look at Bailey, come here. Oh, now she wants Haley. <laughs> Look, we got Mandy and Muriel at their apartment. Oh. So they put the arrow to cut it underneath the resealable thing. Why would they, it says tear here and there's the arrow and that's literally, oh. Okay, well, oh well. Yeah, like a chip with a fish Well, this way. Yeah. Our legs are rolled up. Or just eat all of it. Okay, eat all of it. Okay. Last time I cut peppers, I found out that there can be little baby peppers inside of the. It's creepy. I don't like it. It's super weird. Literally, every single one of her peppers had one, too. Though. Yeah, and it was grossing me out. Maybe it was a sign that you're very fertile. <laughs> oh my gosh! You're very fertile? <laughs> or how many peppers do you have with a baby? Three. Three No, uh, Muriel, I only want two. <laughs> oh, I think I'm like. Same wavelength. Yeah. Oh, God. Please do not judge me. Pepper cutting because I don't know how to cut that. I will see a little bit. Okay. If you start at the them. circle and cut around like this, you can usually just pull the whole seed pot what? out. Oh. That's how I cut them. I didn't know that. See, I knew that, but I was trying a new technique. <laughs> I usually just like cut each little like section off, mm -hmm. but like that's just I think how most people cut pepper. Unless you're special oh, with a chef. Like, yeah, right? Like, <laughs> like Haley. <laughs> One time, um, I'm gonna rinse these when, out. So I would cook, cook sorry. <laughs> when I would cook at home, like on Saturdays, like my sisters and I would rotate who cooked on Saturdays. And I made macaroni pumpkins, like land, okay, I know <laughs> like jack o' lantern. So you like cut mm -hmm. it in like a little pumpkin. Yeah. It was so fun. And you put the macaroni. It was weird eating macaroni out of a. Pepper, but it was good. That cute. sounds good. Aw, Bailey. Aww. She's so cute. Look at it. Haley's is crispy brown. And then Mandy made a little yummy spread. Yes, I did. Yummy. Yes, I did. You saw did. How are we feeling about quesadillas? Very Excited. Excited. All right, we just got back from Mandy's and I'm a little frantic because I need to get into the delight meeting because it starts at 7.30, but Ken's asked me to hop on a little early, which I think we're probably going to do every Tuesday. So I'm gonna log in and I have my first delight meeting. I'm so excited. Guys, oh my gosh. I just had my first Delight small group meeting and it was seriously so amazing. I've been praying for Delight and for this group of girls literally since I found out I was going to be a leader and like I'm close to tears you guys. It was so amazing. I was really nervous that they wouldn't be very talkative or like that it would be awkward or weird and God just showed up and did so many amazing things and literally it wasn't awkward. It wasn't weird. They all spoke like it was just crazy. I'm like on cloud nine right now it was amazing god is so good you guys it is 904 i literally don't know what to do because i'm so excited and joyful right now that i can't go to bed so i don't know what i'm gonna do i'll probably find like homework to do or something but i just wanted to share because my vlogs are mostly for my memories so i wanted to remember this it's so good so good god is so good you guys Good morning guys, it is Wednesday the 30th and I have a lot going on today. I mean, kind of, like I'll basically just be sitting in my apartment again. I just made breakfast. I made some French toast sticks, cut up some kiwi. I had to eat that, that's been in the pantry for a second now and I needed to finish it. Watermelon and then the last of the pumpkin spice latte stuff that I got from Starbucks. So, I, uh, I'm gonna eat that. But to start off the day, I'm watching the presidential debate from last night, <laughs> which 
I'm not excited for. Um, I have a lot of strong opinions about one of the presidents. I'm not going to get too political, but you can probably figure out which one. And based on social media this morning, I have a feeling that he was just completely terrible during the debate so I'm gonna watch it I saved it for today because last night I was in a really good mood and like my heart was just filled with joy as you guys saw and like I was really happy and I know that watching this is gonna make me mad and upset and scared and like stressed and anxious and so I was like you know what we're gonna save it for tomorrow so I'm gonna watch that today I'm not excited I don't really want to I already know who I'm voting for but it's important to stay informed and know like the latest update and what's going on and I figured when I talk to Trump supporters I'll have some leverage about the way that he acted so yeah I'm gonna watch that and actually know what I'm talking about so <laughs> wish me luck also today at noon I have a call with um, Delight's regional director so each Delight chapter around the United States has a different regional director and ours we haven't had the chance we've met her a couple times and talked to her but we haven't had the chance to spend like one-on-one -on -one time with her or really get to know her and because of covid we can't like have her here we can't go visit her so she decided to do like facetime calls with all of us and mine is at noon so i have that at noon and then fun fact like a weird little thing that happened this morning i so i used to this is kind of embarrassing but I used to edit like these books on this app and I was really obsessed with it and I would like edit them and I would message the authors and it was just like stuff they wrote themselves and I was really obsessed with it like I did it all the time and then I haven't done it in a long time but I think that was probably in like 2017 and I haven't been on that app since then I think and this morning I woke up to an email from an author on that app that is actually planning on having her work published and she asked me to edit her book and I was like what because I haven't used that app since 2017 but I guess because I have like a profile on there that shows what I've done and like the way that I've messaged these authors and I guess she found it and she was looking through it and she really liked it and so she asked me to edit her book which is super cool and crazy and I was not expecting it. So I've been talking to her this morning and she sent me like, I think probably the third draft, hopefully not the first draft because first drafts are rough, but she asked me to edit it. So I'm gonna be editing her book, which is pretty cool. It's straight up storming and I wanna watch a movie and go to bed. But I have a class to go to. I also watched the presidential debate. Good times, love being an American. <laughs> you like ate it tomorrow. Sorry, look. Hey vlog, how y'all doing? She just burst into my room like this. <laughs> God, yeah, the like. It's like all out too. Wait, turn around. Comment, what does it look like? <laughs> Comment. Below in the comments, one through 10. I think 10, actually Thank 20. You. Hi guys, it's Friday. It's also, okay, it's Friday. I'm with Caitlin, my cousin, and we are gonna go on a little nature walk slash scavenger hunt for her school project. I know I'm making a weekly vlog, but I forgot to vlog yesterday, so it's now Friday. <laughs> it is so beautiful. Caitlin is so beautiful. No. So, this is Caitlin's list of stuff we gotta find. We're looking for number three on the maps. I don't know if we'll find one, but we're trying. The trees say danger. Caitlin's trying to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how steep this is. Oh my gosh. Oh, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> me talking about Caitlin trying to kill me and then I almost <laughs> fall down the steep hill. <laughs> We just had to run down the steep hill because it was way too steep and it was, oh, look at that. That's so pretty. Um, but it was super steep. So we just decided to run down it and look at it. Someone made this little bridge. That's so cute. For another obstacle course. <laughs> Turns into an obstacle course. Oh my gosh. It won't break. <laughs> 
my dad went on here. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we have to go all the way back up this. That trail is kind of a dead end, so we, we gotta go find. Try to like go up the sticks. You know? Okay, we gotta find a different one. <laughs> the bridge. It reminds me of the movie Sleepy Hollow, if anyone has seen it or heard of it. Also, our steps are super echoey. Ah! 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 I hate it because it like moves sideways. <laughs> it's cool, I like it. Look at how pretty. My camera. We're on the bridge, that's all the way down. What if like... Crazy! Stop! <laughs> I keep taking pictures and videos so Caitlin was like, let me set up a little campsite really fast. <laughs> it's so beautiful though, I just can't help it. Rain jacket. <laughs> oh, oh god. Okay. You got it, you turn it on. I, I'm vlogging. I am a vlogger. Is there There's like, people getting married everywhere and we're leaving the park. There's more people. Everywhere. There's like people. Oh, hello. Are you vlogging? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Vlog the cute guy. <laughs> yeah. He's not the one getting married. It's a different one. Oh, he's not even cute from the front. Yes, they all are cute. They're cute and tall. Yeah, I guess sure. I should've been like, hey, you wanna get married next? <laughs> I don't know. This is like. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Look at the beautiful world. The woods. The beautiful. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you just hit the door. <laughs> is a dog still here? I don't know. Try to find a dog, a pine cone, a fire hydrant. I'm surprised we didn't see a fire hydrant, to be honest. Uh, Nature Jade, it's but nature. Like, we saw a sprinkler. Nature, nature Jade. Also, their flowers and their dresses were really pretty. Hello. Hello. The new way to vlog. <laughs> I do that sometimes when I get uncomfortable. And there's like people around me, I do that. Hello. Is Hello. there anything up my nose? <laughs> Hello. 